Hello fellow YouTubers, Bear Prepper here. Today we're going to make some vanilla ice cream with the starch water from our gluten. Because I have a lot of the starch water. I'm going to go ahead and shake this one up. Get it all mixed up. And in the pot I have a half a cup of sugar. I'm going to put three tablespoons of starch water. Not quite three tablespoons. We're going to put a little more. We need a quarter cup of honey. Remember, when you're doing your honey, put some oil in your cup. And your honey won't stick. And this is real honey. It's not my uh, honey powder. Alright. We're going to boil that for three minutes. And then we're going to blend in three egg yolks. It's been boiling for about three minutes. And I'm going to go ahead and remove it. Now remember... Don't put egg into hot liquid. It'll curdle. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pour off a little bit of this hot liquid. Set that aside. And I'm going to stir it. Kind of get it to cool off. Just a hair. And you can't see a thing, can you? Here are my eggs. And we're just going to dribble a little bit at a time into that so it doesn't curdle. Do the same method when you're doing spaghetti carbonara. So that you don't curdle your eggs. Nothing's worse than curdled eggs. And now that we've warmed it up in temperature, we should be able to whip it into this without a problem. So now I'm going to start mixing it into my boiling liquid. And if I did it right, it won't curdle. If I did it wrong, we're going to have a curled mess. And that's four egg yolks. Ooh, that's my... All right. So I have my egg yolks and my sugar mixture. Let's see. All right, now that we've got the uh, eggs in, we're going to put our vanilla. Two teaspoons of vanilla. I like vanilla. So, I'll put as much as I like. So, the only gluten water we've used in here is three tablespoons. But, at least it's a use for gluten water. We're also going to use our homemade yogurt for this ice cream. I'm trying to find the recipe page. The book I'm using is the Amazing Wheat Book. I'm also using Grandma's Inflation Fighters, Volume 2, for how to make the gluten. I like that gluten recipe better than this one. Okay, now we're going to mix in the yogurt. And my hands are tired, so... Nice, thick yogurt. We'll mix it in. I think we may use the... Uh, I know, I shouldn't bang the pot. I apologize. 
You guys catch me on that every time I do it. Just mix it in with the fork. And now I'm going to mix in the second jar. Isn't that beautiful? Look how nice and thick that... Oops, there you go. Nope, there. <laughs> Look how nice and thick that yogurt is. Ready? Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Yum, yum, yum. Once again, use the fork to mix it up so that we can get it all creamy. Alright, now at this point I would recommend you taste it because you can always add more honey if it doesn't have sweet enough flavor and that little bit of egg is not going to hurt you. Oh, that is going to be so good. So get yourself a container that goes straight up the sides. I'm just going to use this old glad throwaway thing. And we're going to put our ice cream in it. So I guess you could call this a food storage dessert. Because it's made with yogurt and homemade vanilla and honey from food storage and gluten from food storage and salt so we're going to call this food storage ice cream gluten ice cream or starch ice cream I guess and then you're going to take some uh, wax paper wax paper so that it doesn't form a film on the top And we're just going to press this into the bowl onto the top of the ice cream. Okay, can you see that? And then we're going to put it in the freezer for three hours. And here's the final ice cream. Made from yogurt and the starch from making the gluten. Mmm. Very good. Okay, you asked me what you could do with that cloudy broth that we got from our wheat gluten. Well, as you see, it separates on standing. I'm making a beef stew here. And I'm using that starch water in it. Gives it some extra nutrients and will help thicken it up a little bit. I'll probably add some of the gluten in the bottom of the jar to it to thicken up the broth when it's done cooking. Blessing!